What's up Rockstars, welcome to another news video. Today I'm gonna to be going over a lot of the campaigns that are live right now, but ending very, very soon. Some new things that are coming up I wanna show you about, a new indie title I wanna display, and of course, some updates and pledge manager information for your viewing pleasure. Thank you to my channel sponsor Into the AM. As a company that believes hard work and a great product is a proper way to conduct business, I am delighted to have them as part of the channel. They have some of the coolest graphic t-shirts around and an absolute best fit and feel that has continually exceeded my expectations. With new shirts arriving all the time and other products like boxers, hats, and even a monthly shirt club, I wholeheartedly recommend them to you. Check out the link in my description of this video for an exclusive 10% off everything they sell. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. If you appreciate the videos I make every single week for you guys, and you can give even a dollar a month, there is a link down in the description below. Thank you so much. But out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. We're starting out with the RuneScape Kingdoms, Shadow of Elvarg, and this has 33 hours ago at time of recording, so you can tell exactly how late I stay up to record these for you guys if you do the math, I guess. But uh, no, no, this is, this, this is a big deal uh, because it's... Uh, a huge IP and it's ending very very soon didn't quite hit a million so far and um, I think this is because of the style of the game it is it's it's uh, the appeal is limited to only a certain amount of people and especially the art style uh, specifically if you're not into like RuneScape or especially like the old school RuneScape stuff um, then it probably doesn't appeal too much to you it's kind of cartoony and blocky I think it's pretty cool and kind of charming um, but then the gameplay isn't something I'm really into whereas I think some people might even like the gameplay but not the mini so I, it's, it's kind of a toss-up um, sometimes IP gets you you know uh, some really good uh, um, uh, ways to make money and then I, while I think this did it's just kind of interesting how that how that played out between the gameplay and the art style and I think uh, different people have different issues with it which is kind of funny but uh, yeah no they were unlocking stretch goals their stretch goals uh, aren't something to like fret over too much it's mostly just cards Oh my gosh, so much scrolling, guys. I swear. Um, but, okay, right here, right here. Okay, so here are the stretch goals. You can kind of see them right here. Just, you know, eh, cards. You get, get different items and stuff like that. So nothing like huge to fret over. But there is a link down below to this and everything else I'm covering today. Next up, Batman Gotham City Chronicles Season 3 and RPG. 38 hours to go. So this is the final time I'll be covering this. Uh, for you guys while it's live anyway 1.2 million and still growing and I imagine they're gonna have a healthy pledge manager they are going to do uh, several different uh, expansion reprints stuff like that they'll do a survey like they did with Conan I know Conan did very well for them in the pledge manager and then uh, they also have like a storage box for season two that's something I'm really really interested in uh, because uh, right now I just have them literally in a bag because of, of the like the the picking which I got all of them but yeah anyway so uh, that'll be pretty big their uh, unlocks have been kind of uh, RPG board game RPG board game so there's a lot of board game stuff uh, for uh, people who are just into that which is pretty cool and they also have the Batman Who Laughs that's still available if you pledge at any tier on this one you'll be able to get him. So the season 3 has the Gotham City in Flames which is kind of their biggest expansion yet actually. It's kind of it, like uh, um, the, the, the two big ones from season 1 but like the Arkham Asylum one and the Wayne Manor one but even more minis and stuff in there. It's actually quite large. So that's kind of why it's priced the way it is. And then there's this a new Eden expansion. This makes it to where you can play as villains, like any villain from season one and season two, actually. So it's this huge kind of roster there. The back computer files, that is the player aids. That is the new rule book. That's all that new stuff that actually is super useful and helpful uh, that, that you'll get the different... Uh, uh, like 86 over 80 hero uh card helper thing so you can have essentially all the rules you need for your symbols with your character right there which is kind of nice i downloaded something similar to that on bgg long ago theirs looks a lot better it's more professional of course but uh and any tweaks they've done to the rules will be on there but th that kind of stuff is super helpful because i actually went and actually saw it and of course the solo co-op mode expansion that's there too but if we go to their stretch goals here so they are reversed, so the latest is up on top, which is super helpful, actually, because uh, it's far less scrolling.
scrolling. Uh, one versus mode digital scenario, and then another uh, digital scenario. So there's like a double one, one for Arkham Asylum, one for the Wayne Manor. Actually, I believe there's a vote on this. I think you only get one or the other so far. Uh, 30 events, that's in the RPG. One board game digital scenario. There's a lot of digital scenarios, but there are minis as well. Uh, new printed maps for the RPG. So again, they've been kind of doing lock and step each one. Uh, here's another digital scenario. The Drowned, that's a miniature that we have unlocked now. Is this this kind of cool person there. I don't actually know who what what they're from. I don't know if they're a newer one or not. Uh, the Bat Hound, that's another miniature. So we're gonna get a uh, Batman dog miniature. So that's super cool. So there's a lot of this kind of stuff um, and it tells you kind of what where you get this in. And I think they're locking it in the uh, all in for the season, though I imagine you can buy him separately as well. But I think the stretch goal is only for those that are um, pledging the all in, which is kind of a normal pledge. You know, it's 120 bucks kind of thing. So uh, that's that's what's that all about. Next up, Arcadia Tenembra, the board game. This is something I covered the first time. It actually hit Kickstarter before. They didn't quite fund. This time they have now funded. They have 52 hours still to go, and I highly recommend you check this out. It reminds me a lot of Forest of Radgoss. So if you recall when I covered that, it was another indie game with some interesting art and an interesting world that you got to explore. This is kind of like that. There's more board game to this one, I believe, um, but it's the same kind of exploring a map and figuring things out and stuff like that, which is just super cool. Like it's really, really neat. They're busy unlocking stretch goals. They've been adding different companions, a preacher and a frog. I mean, it's this game is wild. And uh, they're going to be unlocking more uh, more uh, like uh, creatures and stuff like that too. But yeah, essentially you play as one of these like wacky characters or I mean everything from you know a person who gets their superpowers from alcohol to somebody who impersonates their dead wife to I mean it's just like everything. And then you look at this. There's a turtle one. There's <laughs> it, it's it's really really crazy. So you're going through this map and you go and you do these different actions. You can kind of talk about that there but it's one of those things where it's kind of like an rpg kind of like a board game you can play it multiple times lots of text lots of things to explore and read and discover and stuff like that uh very very interesting open sandbox is kind of how they describe that uh so that's super cool it is solo friendly go ahead and take a look if you want to support an indie developer uh, if you're one of those people that believe kickstarter is really for people like this then you probably want to give them a shout out if nothing else uh, okay, next up, Castles of Burgundy Special Edition. The other side, the other flip of that coin is Deluxified Board Games. And this is not the biggest one I'm covering uh, today. So, like, as big as this is, and it's almost $2 million, So, funding-wise, it's fantastic. But this is cheapo compared to what I'm going to show you. So, let's go ahead and jump to that one. All right, so this is Tesuro Luxury Limited Edition. 164,000 raised from only 483 backers. Still 22 days ago, you got plenty of time to start saving those pennies. Are you ready for the pledge level? Well, actually, here, why don't we just actually, let's go ahead and play this. Let's take a look at this sucker. And you guys tell me how much you think this is. I would love to hear your guesses in the comments. Like, no joke. I would love to hear how much do you think this costs? Uh, it, it looks pretty. It looks nice. Look at that big old bag. I love ba bags and that you can actually reach your hand into. I appreciate that. These minis are cheapo, in my opinion. They're single cast. Did you see that scrolled rule book? Rule book. Very, very cool. Fancy tiles. That bag looks amazing. I really do dig that. Like a, a an actual like cloth map with the painting on it. It just looks pretty nice, guys. Looks pretty nice. All right, so how much do you think this is, right? If you were going to, to guess, if you guessed $350, you would be correct. <laughs> $350 bucks for this game. It is just the normal game you typically get at retail. I think you can get it for like $30, $40, bucks, something like that, probably around $40. Bucks. $350, bucks, though, you get this freaking pimped out edition, and this thing is pimped. 
Uh, the box looks amazing. I'm sure it's heavy. The, the shipping's crazy expensive. I do find this funny that these are single cast cheapo minis, but they're um, done in a very obviously very pretty way, very exquisite way for what they are. It's just I I, I find it funny as a, as a minis guy. I find it funny that they're all like the the squashed single cast. I imagine they're just kind of traditionally. I don't know if they're in the game normally or if they made these sculpts for it. Um, but the, you see how like the wings like straight up there and stuff like it's sideways like that. So so that it's flat so that it can print cheap which is kind of hilarious this i believe is a bamboo scroll rule book which is completely like not able to be used like like it's all super inconvenient i complain about the the big ones that you you open them up because when you're wanting to look at the rules and you're at the table you don't want to take up a whole lot of room this thing freaking scrolls out and you can't like quickly flip to it it's hilarious but it is so freaking pretty so they have that here. That bag is probably the highlight for me. I love that bag. Like how big it is, like how wide it is. I love the, the the shininess, the embroidery on it. Just all of that looks good. These tiles look pretty cool, I suppose. This looks fantastic. Love the print on that. Um, you even get a, a certificate of authenticity, which comes with everything expensive because that's how things work. Uh, so that's super cool. It, it is very, very nice. I think so. Uh, looks like Quackalo probably got his, his, uh, I don't know if he got a copy of it or what. I don't know. That'd be crazy. Uh, I want to copy this thing just because it's pretty. As the unboxing guy that, like, is super anal retentive about this stuff, I would have a field day with this. But anyway, you got 300 bucks, 350 bucks, burn a hole in your pocket. You could buy a board game with it. <laughs> okay, and it's or, uh, now we have arcs, and arcs is five days left. Okay, so it's just a couple days left. I've covered this a few times for you guys. It, they they again they link a lot of the gameplay information, so you can go and investigate it. But they don't put a lot on here. But that's also because they're not. You're not trying to be any specific genre either, uh, so it's just it's it's a sci-fi game, and and if you're interested, you can come get it. <laughs> okay, next up is Nanolith Cyberpunk RPG board game. This is coming up. This is kind of interesting. I looked into this a bit more, and it has uh, like miniatures for your characters, but then standees for the enemies. Um, it has actual like plastic player cards, so they're nice and robust there. Um, it, 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 it has like a, I think like a 40, 50, 60 hour campaign, like a pretty decent campaign, but it's really focused on playing within two hours. And it's really focused on that with a quick setup because they understand that us gamers are actually adults and we have families and jobs and lives and stuff like that. And we can't spend all day as much as we would love to playing board games. So it wants to be able to get to the table easily. So I, I hear I hear them saying that kind of stuff and all of that's like, yeah, that sounds great to me. I love that. All that sounds good. It has some like a six sided die placement thing, I believe, when it comes to doing your moves. And it is kind of a push your luck mechanic in one sense in that um, you can do an extra big turn. But if you push too hard, you get like, you know, viruses or, or some, some kind of cyberpunk askew negative. Dungeons and Lasers Encounters. This is their fourth uh thing by uh archon i believe and it's gonna be huge it's it's gonna be massive they do great work with all of this stuff they always do uh this one is actually pretty this is like okay you guys wanted some DD stuff let's do some DD stuff that's what they did here um so they actually have a, a a neoprene mat i believe it is they have these uh big old like plateau rock things and they made sure to do a whole lot of stuff you can always see your mini behind it your miniatures sit on it nicely and evenly they're commenting about that too like they're very very smart with how they're doing that which i think is super cool um they definitely put some thought into it yes yeah, so you do have the mat you do have all the terrain and stuff you can also get their uh, uh creatures pack which they have a ton of different creatures here i mean like a black unicorn because of course why not a demonic tree but they have some really cool stuff swamp golems and stuff um so i really and wolves i mean so there's that too I really enjoy seeing that stuff. And of course, it's just the beginning. It's going to get even bigger than that. So uh, I can only imagine how big this will end up being. But you can see a lot of it already here. So again, there's a link to this preview down in the description below. Feel free to use that to your heart's content. And I'll go over all the minis and stuff like that. Um, you can sign up for that. And that should be coming out here really soon. I believe it's 
um, on the 14th, but don't, don't quote me on that. I'll, I'll put it on the screen if it's something else. All right, next up, this is actually pretty cool. So come on, has been releasing free content for massive darkness too, which is super awesome of them. And I just want to point out that I've covered their free stuff before, but I really want it to be known. So you note this, I said something positive about come on. You guys always claim that I never do. I call it how I see it. How I see this right now is I think that's awesome, but it is kind of confusing how to do it. So they'll link you to here, which is like their normal page you would see all the time. And you have to scroll down here and it'll actually default to this rule book and FAQ, which is cool that that's there. Like that's super nice. Of course, they already have a 1.0 FAQ available, but you have to click on bonus content. It's not even like super noticeably a button. Click on bonus content. And then you have one, two, three, four, five quests available. So if you want even more massive darkness than like the two calyx shelves that it already takes up, there's five more quests for you. Super cool that they keep um, making those and actually advertising and supporting it and putting that out there for us. So that is super neat. All right, next up, Signum Games has reopened. If you didn't know, Signum Games does a lot of miniatures, a lot of kind of these board games as well, a lot of skirmish-based stuff. Um, I, I showed some Kitsune models from them, I think was the last thing I, I showed from them. Uh, they are located in Ukraine though, but they are back and making stuff. So super cool there if you're interested in any fancy resin uh, um uh, miniatures you might want to take a look they have some great and very interesting styled stuff there and you can support them now that they're opening i think they even have some sales and some new stuff available all right sheol is doing uh very well when it comes to their fundraiser i think they have eleven thousand more that they need to raise and that's it and so they're very close to raising enough to be able to get this to the final thing. They have been putting them on ships. You can see the ETA here, except for uh, US, who they're, I guess they're waiting for. So I'm, I'm assuming it's maybe a little bit later than some of some others, but they are actively sending this out. And I think that's super cool. All right, next up is Madara. Uh, there's just some important dates here. So they will lock orders on July 7th. So we have about one month from now to lock the orders. If you recall, they are releasing a few more Neoprene mats and some new minis that are like these collectible things and a lot of cool stuff there. Uh, it looks like actually the Pledge Manager closes on the 6th, then they lock orders on the 7th. And then they have a first batch a charge of the card July 14th, so pretty much a week later. Then they have a second batch. I think that's just a reattempt if the first one fails, so you have some time to do that. That's then on July 21st, but for the most part, July 14th is when your card watch will be charged, so be sure to have the money there for it. And then, of course, they have the cutoff period on July 27th, and then they're actually sending that out along with um, Wave 2 shipping Q4 2022. Uh, actually kind of excited to, to see. I mean, there's going to be a ton of stuff, so that's exciting. All right, next up, Dawn of Madness. Yeah, you remember this game? It's been forever. Well, looky here. It's like real. They have like minis and stuff. Who knew? <laughs> I thought this was this cool to show that it's actually here and, and, and kind of a thing. Um, so they're definitely getting close to that. As you can see, it's like an actual game. So they have all the all the minis box there, metal tokens, stuff like that. So they're still working on it. There's some lockdowns involved with their manufacturer. I've been that's been confirmed to me, by the way, by other developers also using that, that manufacturer. So um, that, like that that's like a real thing. So they're they're busy doing that, but they're still working on some of the story bits too. So they're not done yet, but they are getting close. My goodness. Anastir, Anastir Pledge Manager opened. If you would like to spend a lot in shipping, it is available to you. Um, yeah, it's it's. I haven't hit it yet. I, I pledged 160. We'll we'll see how far I go on this. Uh, the all in is 400. Uh, shipping seemed um, high, but not like I'm gonna faint high. Uh, which is kind of nice. I, it looks like the low 100s to do a, like a, um, a fairly hefty shipping to the U.S. Uh, so it's 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 is what it is, I suppose. I guess at this point. All right, uh, Twisted Fables Epic Collection. Why am I mentioning this? Because I forgot to pay shipping on this. This was delivered like forever ago. I think I just recently paid shipping. Though it was still available. I'm assuming I'll get it. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. There's a lot of people asking that, not a lot of people getting responses. It seems it may take a month to get it. However, I did notice they are still selling this. This is pretty much their online store at this point. See, they had 1,950. They sold 750, at least on, on, on this level. So 
If you're interested in Twisted Fables, which is a fantastic game, by the way, uh, then this is still available in all regions, Asia and Oceania and Europe as well. Uh, they still have copies, so that's really cool. This is the new thing. This is what I needed to pay uh, shipping on. It's a, a Mulan playing mat and then a stage card, which is kind of interesting. I'll be interested to see how that that plays but yeah anyway they they still have stuff available so if you're interested it's like freaking cheap too by the way it's what 69 bucks that's a great price for this game like this game is a lot of fun there's a lot of cool stuff you get all these minis and stuff super duper cool and lastly i just want to mention that resident evil the board game is also available to late pledge i also forgot to fill that one out so i just did that so now that i am more poor I will end this video <laughs> with you guys. I hope you had a great time with this video. If you uh, note anything that I didn't note in this video that you think we should know, let us know in the comments below. I will read those. I will update the description as needed with new links and stuff like that. So if there's something you've been looking at or just something you want me to look into, feel free to reach out anyway. It doesn't have to be in the comments. It can be an email or Facebook message, anything like that. There is, of course, the Facebook group also linked down below. Feel free to join that and join uh, well over a thousand people that are actively posting in there, asking questions, showing off different things. Just really, really cool little group there. And with that, I'll let you guys go. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys again very, very soon, like tomorrow with a big, 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 big video. Stay tuned for that. Take care, guys. Bye.